in the United Kingdom, there's more trouble for the Conservative Party. A media report now claims that a Chinese businessman who is linked to an alleged secret police station in London has organized multiple Tory fundraising dinners and has close links with Tory leaders as well. According to a report by the Times, Ruiyu Lin, that's his name, the businessman from China, has attended Chinese Communist Party political conferences in China and has also held roles in several organizations in the UK that have links to the Chinese Communist Party. But simultaneously, Lin also made contacts in the Conservative Party, where he served as vice chairman of a constituency Chinese group and even managed to meet party leaders like Boris Johnson and Theresa May. Lin has repeatedly denied working for China, while adding that he has no interest in politics in both UK and China. Lin says he only attended the events to meet potential investors. In recent times, Western authorities have expressed growing concern of China's alleged efforts to influence domestic politics in other nations. Earlier, U.S. officials had arrested two men in New York for allegedly operating a secret Chinese police station. U.S. prosecutors said the accused set up a secret police station at the behest of the Chinese uh, Ministry of Public Security. The station was allegedly closed in the fall of 2022. UK's spy chief has also warned against Beijing's attempts to influence UK politics and Chinese diaspora in the UK. According to Kevin, according to Ken McCallum, China is willing to pay huge sums in order to gain manipulative opinion and the members of the alleged secret police station are targeting key politicians and even local councillors. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has already termed China as a challenge to the world order. Updates, updates coming in from the United Kingdom. There's more trouble for the Conservative Party, more trouble for Rishi Sunak. Now, a media report claims that a Chinese businessman who is linked to an alleged secret police station in London, he had also organized multiple Tory fundraising dinners and has close links with Tory leaders. According to a report by the Times, Rui Yu Lin, that's his name, the businessman from China, attended Chinese Communist Party political conferences in China and has also held roles in several organizations in the UK that have links to the Chinese Communist Party. Simultaneously, Lin also made contacts in the Conservative Party where he served as vice chairman of a constituency Chinese group and even managed to meet party leaders like Boris Johnson and Theresa May. Now, Ruiyu Lin has repeatedly denied working for China while adding that he has no interest in politics in both UK or China. Lin says he only attended the events to meet potential investors. In recent times, Western authorities have expressed growing concern of China's alleged efforts to influence domestic politics in other nations. Earlier, a US official also arrested two men in New York for allegedly operating a secret Chinese police station. There has been definitive action which has been taken by the US. Whether UK will follow suit or not, we'll need to find out. All right. We were earlier joined by Greg Swenson, who is an international affairs expert and China analyst. We were talking to him about the possible link between a Chinese businessman and Tory leaders in the UK. Greg, I would like to reiterate what, we were, what I was asking you earlier. Will there be any concrete action taken by the UK just the way US has done regarding these Chinese outposts? Uh, I, I hope so. Uh, I really assume that they will. It's still a bit early uh, in terms of, of the reaction from the government, but I think Prime Minister, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak was wise to be very critical of the Chinese. And, and this is troubling, but it's, it shouldn't be surprising. The, the Communist Party, you know, has been doing this for years. You know, their, their basic method is to promote its worldview by isolating and silencing critics. So they're doing it through these police stations in both the U.S., 
and the UK, but they also do it on a number of in a num with a number of different methods or channels. One is the United Front, which is their, the party's bureau to influence non-party members and foreigners through covert and often illegal activities uh, across the world. You've got the Confucius Institutes, which have been you know, infiltrating U.S. universities and U.K. universities since, you know, 2004, 2005, um, you know, to the point where even, you know, the Biden, the Penn Biden Center in Washington was funded by the CCP uh, indirectly th through the University of Pennsylvania. You had infiltration into uh, 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 Representative Eric Swalwell, who was a congressman from from California. You had a Chinese spy infiltrated his staff and and was a member of his staff also had an affair with with eric swalwell so you've had you know countless occasions or or situations where the ccp has infiltrated both the uk and u.s governments and other institutions like universities so it's it's really troubling and it's about time that the u.s and uk put an end to it thank you for all those updates greg China has been known to meddle with the with politics of several nations and I guess UK is next